Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. So I assume we're all familiar with how dungeon crawling works, right? So you go into a dungeon, you'll kill some monsters, you'll get some loot, some of it you'll equip and some of it you'll sell, and whatever you sell you'll get money to buy better equipment to kill more monsters. But have you ever thought about cashing in on this cycle? Well if so, here's five things I think you need to know about Heroes Welcome, Merchants of Dragon Reach. Heroes Welcome from Pencil First Games is a game for two to five players that's set in a fantasy setting. And in it, you're a goblin merchant who's selling equipment to monsters who are going into a dungeon to defeat heroes. The fun part is that you're also buying the loot the heroes get for killing said monsters. The winner is the person with the most victory points at the end of the game. Mechanics wise, this is a game about set collection and a little bit of worker placement. At the start of the turn, the heroes will have returned from the dungeon and they're gonna have a bunch of loot in their separate inventories. At the same time, there's a group of monsters preparing to head to the dungeon and they want you to craft weapons for them in exchange for victory points and for money. How you do this is you traverse the board, which is created out of shops and guilds. And this way you can manipulate the hero's inventory to be able to get the items you want, put them into sets, and hence craft exactly what the monsters were looking for. So this is how you get victory points. There are also things such as masteries, which enhance kind of your set collection bonuses, which you might want to think about. But overall, this game really wants you to try and plan out your turns while still dealing with interferences from other players. Similar games to Heroes Welcome. This is a very unusual game. It calls itself worker placement, but you don't really place any workers out there. And yet it still feels like worker placement. Not only that, but this system of set collection, the kind of cyclical nature of it is very, very unique and definitely makes the game stand out. Setup has a few components, but nothing too taxing. And the rule book for this game is well written and easy to read. However, we did have a few queries about clarifications for the rules, so we had to resort to Board Game Geek, but there is an FAQ available there. For two of us to play this, um, it took us about an hour, but that's after repeated plays of being really familiar with the game. I would actually anticipate it to be more like an hour and 20 minutes with two players, so it's long enough. Um, I won't lie, I was concerned that this game wouldn't be kind of varied enough for multiple plays because the starting setup on the board is always the same and also the monsters which you sell to are the same and in the same order as they're revealed each round. So that's kind of concerning. However, uh, I can't lie, um, I didn't even notice um, with further plays. It didn't seem to really make a difference, which is kind of nice. And if you'd like some more variability, you could check out the kickback expansion, um, which allows you to play with a longer game, some new items, some new monsters, and the kickback cards themselves, um, which are kind of really cool bonuses to have during the game. And it gives you a variable startup for, so for different tiles for the baseboard. So there's plenty going on there if you wanted more. Aesthetically, this game is bright, colorful, and cheery. For some reason, it really reminds me of World of Warcraft and all of those happy feelings that go with that. The components for this game are top notch and it's really obvious that a lot of care and love has been put into this game. The insert for the game is actually even embossed and you can see that in my unboxing video if you wanna look at that. What's special about Heroes Welcome? I think it has to be a sense of fun and enjoyment. From the character names, their quotes, to the item names, to even the teeny tiny clothes signs you put out on the shops. Everything about this game is just grin inducing enjoyment. So how do I really feel about Heroes Welcome? Firstly, the negatives. One of my main issues is actually how you move on the, the town village board. Um, so what happens is the heroes are there and you're able to move them from location to location um, to you know take their items and whatnot. The problem I have is that when you move somebody one space, um, you open up all these other connection, connected spaces for your opponent. Um, and it just, it made me kind of less eager to try and move around the board when I was handing something, um, you know, to the, to the person I'm trying to defeat. 
this is exacerbated when you want it to move two squares um, because you know the heroes can only move one at a time and so if you are working towards getting to a particular location on the board so you move one on your turn now your opponent can go directly for whatever it is you are working towards and usually this is obvious um, because there are certain um, shops that are just better than others um, to, who, to for their actions to be performed um, and I just I found it a little bit I don't know unsatisfactory I think might be the best word um, but this ties into my second complaint um, and not really so much a complaint but observation is that I do think this game is very reactionary um, meaning it's very difficult to plan things um, during your turn or from turn to turn and I think this is because there are certain things that are just prized highly by everybody meaning you can't really plan anything around it and especially since you take a turn and then everyone else takes a turn the chances of things being left for you to do as the ta as the table comes back round get slimmer and slimmer um, and makes it very very difficult to plan um, now I also think this is interesting in the sense that the game allows you to call an end to the turn whenever you'd like and people can bribe you um, so that the turn doesn't end right away but should you announce that the turn is ending again everything has to stop and this is also very reactionary um, it also allows I suppose for the fact that somebody who's feeling left behind perhaps or there is nothing left for them to do can stop the game and then will carry on and there will be a new first player and generally speaking the cl the closer you are to the first player marker the better you're going to do because you'll get access to the, the best things quicker um, and for me that's a little bit problematic but for others I think um, it might be a really fun way to enjoy the game um, and to add a little bit of a cutthroat nature to it the positives this game is genius in so many ways that I can't even convey to you in a video review the clever idea of the cyclical nature of the items going from the heroes to the vendor, from the vendor to the monster, from the monster back to the heroes is super, super smart. The way the shops work in the game are clever as well. They'll never give you exactly what you're looking for, but if you use a couple of them in conjunction, you'll be able to try and get your sets together. It's very clear to me that a lot of love and attention to detail has been put into this game. Secondly, I love how this marries theme and mechanic. I don't know if you could get a better example of it than this. Um, and this could have just been another boring dungeon game. Instead, we get something really, really inventive in the very overused fantasy genre. And thirdly, and finally, and probably most importantly, this game really made me smile. From the minute I opened the box, I couldn't help but giggle at all kind of the humor and the writing and the artwork. I think it's all very, very well done. Um, I think people need more games like this in their collection. Something that's just a delight to behold. Do I think you should have Heroes Welcome in your collection? Well, if you're looking for something that's funny, that's colorful, that's super clever and also a little bit chaotic, but a hell of a lot of fun, then this is a game you should be checking out. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. For more authentic board game reviews, why not like or subscribe to the channel to get video updates? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Heroes Welcome, I'd absolutely love to hear from you in the comments below. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.